In business, we have to give our 30 seconds commercial. Sometimes we have to adjust our commercial based on who the other business owners and networkers are in the room. One of the great secrets of a salesman is to not be the first person to introduce himself or to be the first person to introduce himself and do it badly so you have a better chance not at all, but better to be one of the last persons to introduce yourself or already assess the room before you get there. In other words, you've already mixed and mingled before the actual official introductions begin. The liars in America think that they have rights to other people's computers, lives, clothing, activities, and opportunities, and you don't. The reality is that there is no logo in America that you have the right to use for yourself. I create my own logos. I create logos for other people. I choose the fonting. I choose the size. I choose the depth. I choose the shading. I choose the coloring. I choose. You don't for me. So you don't have the right to use any of my logos of any kind. Any program name, all are mine. You don't have the lawful right to do this. And here's the funniest thing about you, when you just recently hacked my computer again this morning is, I am setting you up, motherfucker, for the government to find you. In America, we have rights. And you are a perfect example of why we don't allow dreamers in America. Because a dreamer wants to steal other people's rights. A dreamer wants to steal other people's might. A dreamer wants to take other people's proper do their proper money their intellectual property that provides for their life a dreamer is a liar just like you a dreamer is not the typical dreamer we expect in america a true dreamer in america builds his own life on the efforts and hard work of himself not on struggle not on strife and not on theft or stealing from other people